It feels great. Um, 26 years with one agency. It's been a great career. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Wouldn't change a thing. Um, but now I'm looking forward to um, getting out and doing things with the family um, and spending more time there. And is there anything that you'll miss the most? Um, I, I'll miss the people here. Um, there's a great crew. It's a, it's a very professional, uh, outstanding organization, all the men and women of the Traverse City Police Department. Um, we've been fortunate in hiring great people. Uh, we've been able to pull great people from other agencies uh, because of the department we have. So I'm going to miss the people here, um, but I'm going to look forward to not having those calls in the middle of the night, coming into work at 2, 3 in the morning, um, not being able to take any time off during Cherry Festival or Film Festival, and just spending time and enjoying the events that Traverse City has versus scheduling time around having to work them. Absolutely. And you mentioned before that you've been affiliated with this PlayStation since you graduated from high school. This is the only place you've really ever worked. This is where you spent your life here. So is it going to feel kind of weird to not have to get up and come here every morning? It will. It really will. Um, in, in 1982, I graduated from high school and started volunteering with Traverse City Police Department while I went through school and attained certification to become hired here. And in 88, when I got hired here, um, I've been here ever since. I've been fortunate enough to travel around the state as a police officer and attend training in other areas. And um, this department is by far the best. I, it's, it's the personnel of the department plus the community. Um, other communities, other officers throughout the state that I talk to, they really don't have the community support that our officers have. And you really need that uh, to be successful. Uh, we work well with the media, with the citizens, with the social news. If we need something put out, the community really listens and really takes action on it. And um, a lot of communities don't have that advantage. And one thing that I think about is being in police work, a lot of what you're dealing with is not happy, it's not good news, it's bad things that you have to deal with a lot. But you're ending, it looks like, on a positive note, on a good note. Are there any uh, standout stories that you'll remember, you'll look back fondly on, or even if they're not that good, but you'll, they'll just stand out to you? Yeah, we've had a lot of uh, um, high profile cases in Traverse City. Um, some of them have tragic endings, and some of them have come out to uh, uh, be very tearful, joyful uh, uh, reunions and happy endings. Um, but, but through it all, uh, you know, we've tried to maintain that uh, Traverse City is a great place to live. Unfortunate things do happen. We don't want them to. Uh, but when we do, we put all the resources we have into figuring out what happened and bringing those individuals to justice. I guess I could just say uh, congratulations on retiring. You know, you've still got a long life ahead of you. So uh, is there any hobbies you're going to pick up? No, I enjoy teaching. Um, I teach part-time for Northwestern Michigan College and uh, part-time for Ferris State University here at Traverse City in the University Center. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy uh, uh, sharing some of the, the knowledge I've gained over the years and some of the experiences I've had with those individuals that are choosing law enforcement as a career. I enjoy doing that, although that's only going to be part-time. I'm going to go back to full-time uh, being, a, being a dad and being a husband to a family that um, has supported me unbelievably through the years. And when without them and their support, I wouldn't have been able to make 26 years with the Traverse City Police Department. Absolutely. All criminal justice related, introduction to criminal justice, police and society, police administration, uh, it's pretty much all criminal justice related.